everybody. How the heck is everybody today? Well, I wanted to welcome you to the 10th season of this channel, the 10th year. I can't believe it's been going for so long. This is the Calm Before the Storm video, our first one of the season. It is November 14th, and we got some weather coming this evening and tomorrow, so this is awesome. This is gonna be a lot better than the last little bit of snow we had up here in beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. Um, so yeah, just want to take you guys on a cruise around the lake, just to get ready to hopefully, hopefully see this town for one of the last times without any snow or, or anything. Looking forward to having snow and ice all over the place this season. There are a bunch of people who are predicting a very mild season, however, um, I, I'm, I'm going to be going out on a limb and thinking the opposite because why not it's not gonna hurt anybody it's not gonna kill anybody there's snow summit a little bit of snow on there of course that is snow from the snow machines It's just so beautiful today. Look at the sky. It doesn't even look like th th there's anything coming in. That's the direction the storm will be coming in from. But yeah, starting tonight, I don't know, probably 11. Around that time, we'll start seeing snow showers coming through overnight also. And then uh, tomorrow during the day, we, we could get about one to three inches of snow. Right after I do, I upload this video, I'm gonna be taking my car in to get the snow tires put on because it's that time. I was gonna do it before the last storm, but I asked the guy to do it like the morning of and he didn't have time. So, but it's okay because we didn't have hardly anything and then for the past two and a half or three weeks, I'd be driving on snow tires, wearing them out so anywho hope everyone's doing great hope you guys are getting ready to come up here don't forget when you come up here to go skiing for your ski rentals and stuff like that go to get boards on big bear boulevard um very very professional staff very knowledgeable they will keep you safe uh, they, they, they have super high quality products there uh, they have two shops right there on big bear boulevard next to the village so when you're passing the village heading towards big towards moon ridge and heading towards the ski resorts uh th it, they're going to be on the right hand side they have one shop that is one block past the village on the right hand side and another shop two blocks past the village on the right hand side i have all the information in the description of the videos and if you tell them i sent you maybe they'll take care of you <coughs> the owner's name is uh tony really neat people I have to reiterate that I don't get paid to uh, say things like this it's just for years I've heard about their incredible reputation and I went in there talked to the owner checked it out and I want to make sure that I can send you guys to the best place possible it's important to me because if you guys have a good time up here you're gonna want to come back and the more you come back better chances of all of us being able to stay up here these sunglasses are so good I'm so enjoying them these are the Ray-Bans where they collaborated with Ferrari I'm a Ray-Ban person I love my Ray-Bans but uh these are just a Whole, whole nother level with the lenses and they're so comfortable Wayfarer is all I wear anyway but again like these things are just awesome it's got a Ferrari symbol right there it's pretty awesome pretty darn awesome and yes sorry about the lamp chops on my face 
I know they're quite choppy. But that's okay, you know. I have to look like a mountain guy. <clears throat> Originally a Newport Beach guy, looking like a mountain guy now. Oh, it's so absolutely stunning out there, you guys. Want to thank my good friend from the channel Wellesley, Wellesley Smith. Wellesley uh, sent me in a card a hundred dollar bill to thank me for for what I do, and uh, I really appreciate that. Wellesley, you're an angel. You are an angel. I used to uh, do individual videos for you guys to thank you guys for for the donations um, because it was super important to me. But I started getting a lot. Of people on on the channel who were who were getting really annoyed with those videos, so I'm still going to be thanking everybody, but just in a different fashion. So, for instance, in the next video I do, I'll be thanking the people who like to help a brother out, and it really does help. Thank you again, Wellesley. You've always been a huge help for me. You filled up my gas tank and then some. Those of you who have been watching this channel for a while, it's there's a lot of driving involved. I mean, there's a lot of driving involved. And of course, you know, I love what I'm doing. I'm passionate about it. I'm not ever gonna stop, whether people help out or not, you know? When you're passionate about something, you're gonna find a way to be able to do it no matter what. Yeah, we're coming into the Fawn Skin area, you guys. The Fawn Skin area. Fawn Skin is a part of the Big Bear Valley. Um, gosh, I am so dumb. I don't know if it's like like northwest part of the valley or or southeast part of the valley. <laughs> I mean, these are things that I should know. But just remember the name Fawn Skin. F A W N S K I N. Um, there's quite a few Airbnbs out here as well, and a couple little um, hotels. And this is a really great place if you wanna come up here and still get a lot of snow and not have to deal with all the tourist activity. Very quiet. You do have a little market in this little town. I'll show you when we pull in here. And uh, some movies have been filmed. Well, there's been a ton of movies filmed up here all over the place, but um, there's been quite a few, particularly in this little area that we are entering right now. Beautiful fawn skin. There's the there's the moose lodge. We have an elks lodge up here in Big Bear as well. I was a Newport Harbor elks member when I was like 23 years old. I think I was like the youngest guy there. But it was cool to spend time with my grandpa there go golfing all the time and then go back when I was drinking have a drink there here's the little market right there a few few little cute shops and then we're coming up to a, a little hotel called the outpost I haven't stayed here yet I really want to um, to make a video for you guys but it's coming up here on the left hand side sorry about the glare that's the outpost. It's right on the tributary. This whole thing is the outpost. And unfortunately, you can't book a room at the outpost through Expedia, or at least up until last year you couldn't, so I don't know if they've changed that around yet. So you have to go to the, the outpost.com or uh, just find, find, find the outpost in Big Bear online and, and give them a buzz. But yeah, and right now we're driving through the Eagles Sanctuary where Jackie and Shadow reside. Those poor Eagles really, really got hammered with all that smoke when we had all these massive fires. I feel really bad for them, but they're resilient. 
I thought they were just going to pack up and leave. They were just going to be like, F this, we're outie. We're going to Arrowhead or something. But no, I think they stuck around. So yeah, it's just right here to the right of us. And they are world famous. Jackie and Shadow, they are world famous bald eagles. Jet flying. But yeah, we're driving along Fonskin and uh, we're going to be just cruising right along the lake for the, the rest of the way to the village, or <laughs> to the dam, I'm sorry. These properties are very, very, very stoked to be able to have a place right here. This town has become so much more expensive. When I first moved up here, um, for my little two-story place, you guys would not believe the rent price. It's so cheap. So cheap. I couldn't believe it. But uh, now, in, in the 10 years that I've been up here, about everything has tripled for the most part. It's unreal. Not only rent prices, of course, but property prices have gone way up food and everything else has always been a bit more expensive up here but when I first came up here I didn't think there was any chance I was going to be able to live up here because it was so expensive but you know what it was a shocker yellows and golds of these trees. <laughs> we do have some new merchandise coming out soon. We're gonna be making some more commercials. Hopefully on the funny side as well. But yeah, we got some some new 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 designs, new merch designs out for you guys. Some new typographies and stuff like that as well. Just really cool stuff. I think you guys will be stoked. I saw quite a few people this summertime. Not quite a few, maybe like I don't know, close to 10 people wearing some of the merch from, from the channel. So that's really cool, you know. Thank you guys for all that. And those of you still watching, don't forget, we will be doing some live feeds for, for, for this storm. I don't know if we're going to be doing any driving around, but we will have a live feed set up at the property, so you guys can just tune in anytime and see what's going on from a residential perspective instead of just the, the standard view they have of like a, on like a light pole or something. See what it looks like from from my my perspective at home. Guys, I'm so lucky to live here. I know. It's pretty incredible. For those of you who really want to live up here, I was expecting uh, the housing market to keep on going down and down because it has been on that trajectory for just over a year now. But <clears throat> some things have recently changed big and uh, I feel like the housing market's gonna stabilize and even get stronger again. 
So for all you people who worked hard and bought investment properties, congratulations, because I feel like these next few years uh, is gonna be really great growth for you guys. Someday I'll own property up here, but who knows when. And we're at the Big Bear Dam right now. This, this is the dam, we're driving right over it right now. town is looking like right now looks beautiful the reason why I do a decently long calm before the storm is because during the aftermath videos I like to do the almost a similar drive just so you guys can see how different it looks with the, with the snowfall on the ground definitely as calm before the storm as you can get I wasn't gonna do it because it was telling us that we might get an inch of snow a few days ago but it definitely changed to a little more significant and we did get a heavy snowfall warning one thing I've noticed from that is uh, that's pretty typical for most of our storms at least with some of the apps that I use. I'm excited to get my snow tires put on. And then one of my good friends on this channel as well, shout out to Jim Lewis, my bro. He's nice enough to let me park my Harley in his vacation home garage with uh, for the winter time. So thank you again, Jim. You're an amazing man, dude. Because it, it was costing me like a hundred, a hundred bucks a month for a storage unit down the mountain for that. And uh, so Jim won't won't let me pay, but I'm forcing him to allow me to take him to dinner a few times. So thank you, brother. By the way guys, Jim is the guy who was one of the main guys who designed and built the Mandalorian for Star Wars and some other really amazing props and things like that for movie sets and uh, places like Disney and stuff like that. The guy is just awesome. So awesome. Talk about someone who's had a hand in impacting more lives than most people could ever dream of. I'm sure more than a billion people have seen or heard of Star Wars. So the fact that he, you know, built something so special and um, was part of something so big, has like George Lucas's phone number in his phone and stuff, like just, you know, the guy's, the guy's the man. The guy's the man. I really appreciate you, Jimbo. So I'll be seeing him in a little bit. After I get my snow tires on, I'm gonna ride my Harley over to his house and drop it off. Anyway, here's Boulder Bay. You guys are very, very loving. I have to say, I'm very lucky to have friends like you on this channel. You guys have become my best friends. I mean, literally, there's a few of you who have truly like, who are my very, very, very best friends. My wife and I stick to ourselves for the most part up here. And uh, I, I just feel really comfortable with you guys. So thank you. Thank you all again for being so kind and so loving. It really goes a long way. But yeah, we're on Big Bear Boulevard, 
back on Big Bear Boulevard. When we started this this drive, when we crossed that that bridge, Stanfield Cutoff, when we first started looking at the lake, um, we ended up on North Shore. And North Shore is what took us into Fonce in Highway 38. But it's, the highways up here are very odd how it works. Because when you take Highway 38 from the Big Bear Dam on North Shore, going all the way to the other end of town, Highway 38 then changes into Highway 18. And you'll be going down Highway 18 on the backside if you stay on Highway 38. But if you make a right hand turn when you're on Highway 38 and North Shore, when you turn on Greenway, that is what will connect you to Highway 38 to continue your drive on Highway 38. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just very odd how they did that up here. When I first moved up here, it was a bit confusing, but for me, everything is. So we're not going into Big Bear City today, but we will be back on, on Big Bear Boulevard. I'm gonna point out point out another friend's shop. I like to support him because he uh, he's been really, really good to me since I moved up here. I was super depressed when I moved up here and um, I had no one and no one within a hundred miles. And uh, his name is Sahil. He's the owner of Big Bear Smoke and Vape. And they don't just have smoke and vape stuff there. They have other little trinkets, especially at their Big Bear City shop. But they, they do have a second location here in Big Bear Lake. And I'm going to point, point that out because he deserves all the business he can get. He's just a sweetheart. And if you tell him I sent you, he'll take care of you. Again, his name is Sahil, S-A-H-I-L, and it's Big Bear Smoke and Vape. Their information is in my description of the videos as well. And again, another disclaimer, he's not paying me to say this stuff. I, I do this for really wonderful people. And of course, they still have to have great product too because I'm not gonna send you guys to some half arse type of a place. They gotta be really good at what they do because you guys deserve that. So the village is over here to the right. We're bypassing the village right now. The village goes as far as this stoplight up here. So if you wanna enter the village from over here, you would turn right at this stoplight called Pine Knot. Careful of some of the drivers up here, guys. A bit clueless. Drive way too fast. I'm one of them sometimes. But anyway, here's the first get boards just past Big Bear Village. And then they got a second one on, on this corner, but also the Big Bear Smoke and Vape Shop is right there in the corner. Right in that corner. And then here's the, the other get board shop right there. So I'm not ever trying to condone the whole smoking thing. I'm not. But there are a lot of people out there. Um, there are healthier ways to give that stuff up, like pouches and stuff like that, and they sell it all there. And again, if you mention to Tony, the guy who owns Big Bear, or uh, Get Boards, Ski and Snowboard Rentals, that I sent you, I'm sure they'll take care of you guys a little bit better. But again, if if it's if it's like especially your first time skiing or snowboarding, and you're super super nervous about the equipment and stuff like that, I'm telling you guys, that's the place to go. 
They are so incredibly knowledgeable. I'm sure there are a lot of great spots up here. It's just, again, I, I heard so many good things about them, particularly, and uh, I had to check them out specifically for you guys, man. going to end this video up here on Moon Ridge. I wanted to show you guys uh, where I, uh, that there's some pretty good construction going on on Moon Ridge Road. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but they've been at it for about a month now, and it's a lot. It's a lot. So be prepared, especially when the ski, well, I'm sure this will be done by the time the ski resort's open, but um, if you do come up here now, just be prepared. It, it, it can be a little bit of a trafficy mess. If you turn right here, you guys, you will be going to Snow Summit Ski Resort. This is Summit Boulevard. One way to never forget where to go is the 7-Eleven with the gas station. You're going to want to turn right here. how you get to Bear Mountain. So we're gonna be turning on Moon Ridge Road and then just a little bit through the construction, we're gonna shut it off. But yeah, guys, do me a huge favor. If, if you like what I'm doing, appreciate the effort I'm putting into all this for 10 years now, almost 3,700 videos. I can't believe it. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, just like other people say, it really helps the channel. I don't know how. But if they say it does, then it must. <laughs> so just please do that for me. I do work really, really hard and put a lot of money in, into the uptake of my vehicles and uh, the cameras and all the gas and stuff. But yeah, here's all this construction going on. It's a lot. I know that, that glare is a little bit of a pain in the butt, so I apologize about that. Yeah, it's just a ton, a ton of work they're doing over here. Cut out holes in the ground over here. I thought they were putting in fiber optic cables because uh, we are starting to get that really high speed internet up here, but only parts of Big Bear City have it. We don't have it over here yet. But yeah, that's it guys. Moon Ridge Road, the video is over. As soon as we get the first snowflake, you guys will know because I will be starting the live feed from the house. Hopefully it doesn't die when I'm driving around making the first snow video of this storm. Love you guys very much. Thanks again for the support. And uh, let's get ready for a really good winter. Love you guys. Season 10. 10 years doing this, man. Peace. Talk to you all later.